What's up everyone, this is Kyle from Tech.io and I'm back with another video. Some of you may have just picked up the brand new S9 or S9 Plus and are in the market for a good case. There are a lot of cases out there and depending on what you're wanting to do with your phone may depict what type or style of case you're looking for. And today I'm gonna to show you some of my most favorite cases really for any phone if you're looking for something, you know, that's more in the, the rugged camp, if UAG or Urban Armor Gear. And they specifically sent me out two cases to review just for the S9 Plus. So let's get going. I can slip, don't need that. And here is what came inside. Now they sent us two different cases to check out. Now, UAG makes a couple of different designs for the S9 Plus, just like they do for other models, such as iPhone 10, you know, iPhone 8, iPhone 7. They even make uh, different cases for the Surface Tablet, the iPad, uh, the Google Pixel, Pixel 2, 2XL, etc. For the S9 or S9 Plus, they have four different styles to choose from. They have the Monarch, the Plasma, Pathfinder, and the Plyo. And today, we have the Plyo and the Pathfinder. I typically go for the Pathfinder style for whatever phone that I'm buying. And this year, at least that I'm aware of, they have a new style called the Plyo. I think I've seen that on the S8 as well. Um, however, I've never seen it in person, so this is the first time I'm getting to check it out. Previous to that, I've definitely reviewed all the styles that they have, and I may drop in a link below in the description back to the blog that you can check out um, if you're interested for other models. Uh, now the thing is, is that with the Pathfinder, it's more of a matte type finish, matte type feel. It's not translucent by any means. Whereas you have the Plasma, as I mentioned earlier, it's a little bit uh, of, of a glossier feel, even though they are translucent. So for me, I'm not into um, glossier feeling type cases, something that you know can get smudges or is, is more slippery, right? Now they all have nice edges and grips to them. Uh, but for me, I just don't really like anything that, that can become slippery. Um, or especially they get sweaty or, or, or can even get greasy or dirty or feel kind of grimy. And that to me, I try to stay away from in all cases. Um, so this Plyo, I think would be pretty interesting to check out. I'm assuming it's not as slippery or slick as something like the Plasma. Um, so let's check it out. This is definitely different. It has a, a higher end gloss type feel to the case. And check that out. You can see it's still pretty glossy but I would say it's a little little flexible, but it's, it doesn't really feel like it's made of rubber or TPU by any means. But this is definitely interesting. I wasn't expecting this from UAG. I really wasn't, honestly. Even the button here, the button's a little bit you know, flexible, just like everything else I believe on, on the other cases. But uh, wow, yeah, this is definitely a different feel. Let's check it out on the phone though. So here I have the S9 Plus. It's actually inside of the Samsung Alcantara case, which is one of my favorite cases. Probably, believe it or not, it's one of the reasons why I wanted to go to this phone over the Pixel 2 XL, but that's a whole different story. And I'm even thinking about doing a specific video just on the Pixel 2 XL versus S9 Plus. I have both. I'm on the fence between which one I really want to keep. So we'll see. That could be a possible upcoming video. So let's try the Plyo case on the S9 Plus. And you can see that on this case, the edges or the bezel does go all the way around. There is not any kind of you know, missing you know, component or, or you know, portion of the case like you might see on, let's say, the Alcantara, for example. That's something I'm not really fond of. And a lot of case designs that are out there. And uh, for UAG to probably keep their mil spec rating, they probably have to have a case that protects more edges of the phone. But let's check it out. So these cases do have a little bit of a snug fit, but not too snug. Not like I've seen in some other cases, some, some cheap crap over from China that comes across. Um, yeah, it just snaps in top to bottom real easily. Ooh, you know what? Okay, no. You can't really see the logos much at all, which is interesting. 
not bad you can see them and uh wow you know what UAG, UAG has a little bit of a stealthier logo inside this case I just all noticed it I wonder if that is yeah okay so it's more like a debossed inside of the case right I bet you when I put this phone back in there you can see it even less let's check even less probably right so that's pretty stealthy I like that I like that and uh, just like probably all the cases from UAG they're really good with um, you know the, the fingerprint sensors and the surrounds the bezels that go around it you'll notice that this nice little lip here or ramp or you know decline I guess you could call it that helps you to feel the fingerprint sensor now in some cases when the cutout areas or the the button placement is a little bit too snug against the actual physical buttons on the phone it can typically create a situation where it's too easy to press the button by mistake you inadvertently will hit the button the volume up volume down the power whatever the case may be and that can be a problem now with uag i've never seen that on any other designs and it's again one of the reasons why i like the brand because their cases have always been reliable and I've been using them for at least four or five years. So that's the Plyo from UAG. Definitely, definitely a nice case. Let's jump over to the Pathfinder and see what that looks like. And for me, this is more of a personal preference because it's typically the only blacked out version you can get that they make. So if you want something that's almost all black, you, you go for the Pathfinder. And here we go. There is the Pathfinder from UAG for the S9 or S9 Plus. Now the one thing I want to show you here too is if you look real close inside that case you'll see some little honeycomb action going on there. Now my theory is that they've done that to help kind of lighten the actual weight of the case. It may not seem like much but it definitely helps. Plus it gives you a little more stability in the case material. I don't think that, yeah, of course not. So. You know, in this design, because translucent, it's not going to have that same effect on the plyo, but for the Pathfinder uh, and probably a couple others, I can't remember off the top of my head, but I've seen this inside the cases and I really like it. So yeah, let's check that out on the phone. It's really that simple. It just snaps right in. And you can feel it. You can just feel how well and how snug. You hear that? perfect fit. It really, really is a perfect fit. I do not feel like this is going to slip off on its own without some serious pressure to get that off, right? But not so much that you feel like you're going to damage your phone. It's that, it's that perfect happy medium with a case. So yeah, same thing here. You get nice little grooves here for the fingerprint sensor. Definitely very nice. And I will say, I can really appreciate the matte finish on this phone case. Again, it's one of the reasons why I typically go for the Pathfinder series. Now, a Monarch is very similar to this, but it has leather inserts, okay? And it's, I think it's a little bit thicker, maybe. Uh, not certain of that, I don't happen to have one anymore right in front of me, but I believe that's the case. And the Monarch is a little bit more expensive because of the extra aesthetics that it includes. And that's $59.95 normally from UAG. And uh, the Pathfinder, is one of the cheaper options, believe it or not. It's $34.95, and the Plyo goes for $39.95 retail. Now, if you wanna find out where you can get these cheaper, be sure to check out the descriptions below. I'll have some links left there for you. Now, with these cases from UAG, they're definitely you know, geared more towards you know, someone that's looking for a rugged case to protect their phone. And especially with something like the S9 Plus, it's hard not to re recommend that to really everyone. I mean, at the end of the day, that phone is made out of a lot of glass. You have glass on the front and the back. Now, you drop this phone from just three, four feet up in there, I guarantee you it is going to crack. You don't want that. So, what I can definitely recommend is getting a more rugged case for the S9 you're carrying around from UAG. Some of the other cases that are out there, like LifeProof and OtterBox, so those are all good options. However, some of those cases for me aren't my personal favorite. Um, you know, maybe some of the Otter boxes that used to be really big and they got the you know thinner, thinner versions out now. I just I've never really been a fan of some of the, the texture or the feel of those cases. Uh, but for the UAG, what's what's also nice about it is they do give you 
a little bit of an extra lip that is going to help lift up the phone from a table, right? Another thing that's worth mentioning is that the ports and the port access for all these cases are definitely perfect. I've never ran into an issue on any of the UAG cases, really for any product that I've tried them on, with port access, okay? We know the buttons are lined up perfectly, tactile response is great, and then the speaker, you know, ports and access is great, headphone port is great. So these are no doubt some really nice cases if you're in the market for something a little more rugged and something that's not too thick, not too bulky, something that's definitely gonna work. It'll slide in and out of your pockets pretty easily. So if you found this helpful, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.